All right, in this video, I wanted to talk about how we do uh, plain strain elements in NASTRAM. So remember, we already talked about in class the difference between plain stress and plain strain. Basically, it comes down to the fact that we have a different material stiffness matrix, and here I've written the two material stiffness matrices for plain stress and plain strain, okay? So some programs like Abacus and ls and I believe Nansys have separate plain strain elements that will actually automatically use the Poisson ratio and Young's modulus to compute this material stiffness matrix as opposed to the plain stress one. Now in Nastran you don't have that situation, okay? Turns out in Nastran the only 2D formulation we have is to actually use the shell element in the plane. So we're using basically the membrane formulation of, of the shell element and that is a plain stress formulation. There is no, to my knowledge, a um, specific plane strain element. Okay. So all I want to talk about here is what do you do if you actually want to do a plane strain analysis and not have to run a full 3D analysis? Okay. So how do you do plane strain? Okay. So let's say we're given a problem. It's a plane strain problem, and the material we're going to use has the parameters. E and nu as Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio, respectively. And I only have a plain stress formulation. Well, we're not completely sunk. Actually, here's an approach that you can use. Uh, if we define a new Young's modulus and a new Poisson's ratio, this E star and nu star, as follows, and actually use the values for E star and nu star in the material card for the plain stress formulation, you can show that you get mathematically the same thing as you would get for plain strain. So the approach is basically given E and nu for your actual material, compute the E star and the nu star, and use those in the mat one for that plain strain element, and then you actually will be doing a plain strain approximation and not a plain stress approximation. So I want to show that now. So basically, uh, what we're going to do here is uh, just substitute, let's see, let me get the whole thing up here, substitute E star and nu star into here for E and nu and show that that gives me the same as this. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's substitute E star and nu star into the C matrix for plain stress and show that that actually gives me the C matrix for plain strain. All right? All right. So. I write this using E star and nu star, this becomes E star 1 minus nu star squared 1, nu star 0, nu star 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus nu star uh, 2. All right, so that's the plain stress material stiffness just using E star and nu star. Now let's substitute the definitions for E star and nu star. And so for the first term, like you know, the C11 term for the plane stress, that's going to equal E star over 1 minus nu star squared. So putting the definitions, E star is just E 1 minus nu squared, and then nu star, well, let's do this as 1 over 1 minus the quantity nu 1 minus nu squared. All right? Let's write a little bigger. So now let's multiply top and bottom. Let's get this all of our common numerator. Or denominator, excuse me. Let's multiply both by 1 minus nu squared, top and bottom. All right? 
So this term, this now becomes 1 minus mu quantity squared over 1 minus mu squared, which is 1 minus 2 mu plus mu squared minus mu squared. Then those go away. The front term, well, I still just have this term here. It comes as follows. E, 1 minus mu squared, but that's the difference of two squares, so I can write that as 1 plus mu, 1 minus mu. This minus mu can cancel with one of these. And now I'm left with the first term for the plane stress is now simply E, 1 minus nu over 1 plus nu, 1 minus 2 nu. Okay? And now if you go back and look, you can see that gives me exactly the same term that I have here, and it's the same for 2, 2. Okay, let me pause this. And answer that for you, okay? Oh, I can't pause. I can only stop. Now you still be able to pause. Okay, let me stop and I'll do a follow-up video.